Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we have the last boat we'll be looking at in this series. This is the last boat from uh, the Boatmaster brand we've been looking at that we've got here in the shop. And hopefully we've left the best to last. So this one here is the Subsea 7 branded 7 Viking, which is, um, I believe, an IMR boat uh, that does a lot of work up in the north and IMR is the um, inspection maintenance and repair sort of style vessels uh, so I guess you can google that there's lots of information on this boat and again um, very detailed this one is the longest one we've got in the shop just over 1.4 meters and it weighs quite a bit, like trying to lift up that front section was, uh, yeah, I think at least over 30 kilos for this one. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do a quick walk around. Uh, again, a lot of the parts here are 3D printed. Uh, you have a huge sort of helipad here on the top. Um, again, you can add more detail, so We'll look at the lighting a bit later, same with the what we did the other boats. Um, like this crane here, 3D printed. Um, a lot of those container ships, I think, uh, just sort of hand built. Uh, 3D printed nozzles here. These ones actually is where the smoke will come out from the smoke system. So you've got one on either end. Uh, you've got your little lifeboats there. Radar systems. That whole top section here, this one comes off for again transportation so i haven't pushed it all the way in as yet it's got some wires sticking out as well on the side because that will run the led lights along that sort of section as well uh, cabin lights as well this one has cabin lights i think this one with the lights turned off looks probably the nicest um, now this one will have uh, a crate at the back it doesn't work i mean it's just there for for show again you can probably make it work if you wanted to um, dual rudder, dual motor setup. Um, this one has the court nozzles as well. This one you can fit it with the bow thrusters if you wanted to. So you've got the port there. Again, you can see to the other side. Um, uh, that's an optional sort of extra if you wanted that installed. Rudder systems uh, at the back. Uh, I think I mentioned is a single rudder system. We'll take a closer look at that as well. Um, and this one has a huge storage compartment here for your battery. So that opens up like that. And again, probably a bit hard to see. Um, but there's your dual motor there. Uh, in the space big enough to put a small cat or dog if you wanted to so we'll take a look at the compartments there's two other compartments we can look at the first one is this compartment here that houses your rudder system and you've got the wires here for your receiver so again, this one would just be classed as a PNP setup, which means you get everything minus your battery transmitter receiver. So um, everything else is installed. Although this one does have the lights, but is optioned with the smoke system. So if you want the smoke system installed, we can do that for you. Um, and you can actually see here, there's the hoses here that would connect up to your smoke system and the smoke will come out from the ports on the side there so that's that compartment the next one is just in front of that that houses your speed controller and i guess that bus system that connects to two motors together step down regulator there for your lights again 2.3 volts max for these leds um, or else you'll have some interesting smoke effects happening there. So, 
So there you go. This one here, the detail is just amazing. So what we might do is we'll uh, pause the video there, uh, get the battery set up and um, do the LED light test like we did with the other ones. So uh, before I do that, the same, same sort of uh, motor system as the previous ones. So you've got the two brushed 775 motors, again belt driven system. Uh, you've got the two uh, metal 40 millimeter props, so two of those, and same ESC, that ESC can handle up to four cell, but again you've got the two connectors there that you can hook up to like a motorcycle battery, which you probably will need for this one to weigh it down because it's um, going to need that to ride at the right height. Um, but yeah, let me get the battery installed and uh, we'll test it out with the lights. Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry, just had uh, to charge the battery because I drained it by accident. But anyway, so uh, this is the LED lights which will be set up on this boat. And again, like the previous boats, you've got the little toggle switch there to flip them on and off. And again, you remember you can uh, get this up, set up on a, on a third channel if you wanted to, to operate it while it's out on the water. Uh, but again, for simplicity's sake, Todd will switch. Donk! Look at that. He's, again, this is uh, probably one of those boats that at night will look really nice. So you've got the navigation lights on the top. Uh, cabin lights, deck lights here, um, and what I really like is this the way the crane is set up here with these LED lights just below it. Makes it look really nice. So Smaller LED lights, 2.3 volts. The other lights run off the main bus, so I can I think they can handle up to um, 12 volts, no problem. Um, and same with these LED lights down here. So there you go. So that's the last boat in our little series here that we've got. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any comments or questions, please let us know. Um, Hope you like and subscribe we'll try and get more videos done it's a bit tough at the moment especially with uh, the unknown state of hours and things like that that we can run the shop at but um, hopefully we'll get some other videos maybe some videos on 3d printing because a lot of these components here are 3d printed and we have the files to be able to replicate them so uh, if you ever need any files Oh, sorry, any parts replaced, we'd be able to 3D print them here. Um, and if we get any other boats, uh, we're happy to do more videos on those as well. So, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.